Do you know what the difference is between a rich man and a wannabe rich man? No? Well, I am a wannabe rich man. <laughs> the difference is impulse is not. So, guys, welcome back, Hermitcraft. We're looking good. We're looking good. It's nasty. You know, we have our shiny, shiny flippers here. We have an elytra, you know. We have our guardian head just to show off a bit. Um, I like to wear it. I don't know why, but I just like this cyclope, <laughs> cyclops look. I don't know. And yeah, we got, you know, the trinus. We got decent tools. But recently, in the last episode, right, we went into Green's shop and we died there. And I came really close to losing everything I have. And I realized, if we lose now, look at our, our treasures. I mean, we own 17 diamonds. I did a little mining session, I told you, in the last episode. And it was really fruitless and I got bored and annoyed of it quite a bit. Because, yeah, we need to find new chunks if we do so to have decent ore rates, right? So the whole mining business, man, why can't we make easy diamonds again? We did so good. So... Yeah, we need to think about something. The shop. We need another shop. We cannot just go around find people. That's also limited. Also, we need to uh, make up, um, have good reasons, I mean, to find them, right? So, yeah, we need another shop, man. So, today, we got to get into that before we are broke. So, we have five runners of Phantom Run by now. I saw all of them. But Zizumas and Greens yet. So, it seems Green ran it. Death. Oh, okay. That's, yeah, one death. That's all right. It's only one death. So, Grian supposedly ran it. Hopefully that comes out so that I want to see he died once. All right. And then we got Biffa. This run, guys, this was amazing. I watched Biffa's episode and literally everything I had dreamed up pretty much came true. Like, I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen the run, but I highly recommend go to Biffa's episode 15 and watch this. <clears throat> it was amazing. Fawzi's run was also really, really great. Um, you know, with a setup like that, it is, of course, a bit luck-based, right? RNG-based. Sometimes uh, the phantoms will trigger you. I, I could fix that by throwing even more phantoms in there. But, you know, l luck is a factor, and if everything comes together, you get a run like Biffa's where things just are amazingly entertaining and greatly working out. So, yeah, the, if I would redo Phantom Run, there would be one major change I would make. I would make uh, um, yeah more flat ceilings. Um, you can still make it structures. I learned a lot how you could do it. But I would uh, make a, a, bo a bit more flat ceiling area so the Phantoms cannot get stuck that easily. That is definitely something. But other than that, I'm very pleased with this. And everybody who played it so far said they loved it and it was fun and thrilling. And yeah, that is what we wanted to hear. So <laughs> I also last time asked you, hey, Green, how do we deal with Mr. Green? And well, all of you were like relentless. <laughs> what is up with you guys, man? All of you were like, Yes, show him who's boss. No mercy, cut him zero slack. Go, go hard, go, go all in on him, kill him. <laughs> you guys, you know, you, you were really relentless. And so I was like, all right, so it is on. We will try to prank Green for sure. That was also the top voted person. I could have seen it coming. I mean, Green just has so many fans, like, and people like to see him suffer supposedly. So Green would be our very first prank target we get, we, get, we gun for so now as we kind of announce this publicly of course we have to we have to wait a bit and let it simmer i saw uh, quite a few great suggestions in the comments what we could do to him and so on so yeah looking good but one thing for sure we're gonna start annoying him a bit if you see him on we're gonna demand an nho inspection because many of you reported about his cow farms hey Random encounters, I love these. <laughs> okay, so, oh, what's happening here? There's some red, random red glass blocks and a heart. Ooh. Why is there a chicken? Hello? We are also in deep, deep, 
almost wanted to say trouble, guys, we are in deep, deep trouble. With somebody you don't want to be in trouble with. And I didn't know. I honestly didn't know. It was an honest mistake, but... Yeah. If you look back here... You see something white peeking out, right? A little tower, a little snow peak. Well, this place is owned by the Ice Queen herself. Stress. And yeah, Stress Monster is her full name. And she is mad. <laughs> So us, you know, harvesting the ice over there at the ice biome really triggered her. She she wrote us a message on Twitter and on Discord warning us that we kind of messed with her stuff because she's the ice queen. We should have bought it here. We were not allowed to farm it or at least we should have asked her and then probably we would have to pay some taxes on it or something, you know. So I screwed up. She said she will take revenge, so until now, I don't really know what's gonna happen. I'm a bit scared. At the moment, she's not on, so I'm good. So, yeah, just quickly came here. I mean, this place is getting packed. But for um, a mushroom shop, I think we would have some space here. Right? We could squeeze that in, lean it up against uh, our shop here and put it... Put it there because we want to be here. This is downtown. You know, this is Fashion Avenue. This is where 6th Avenue, you know, this is prime shopping here. You know, around our shop. All the good shops are here. All the great shops. And some weird shops. Pickle shops. Stupid thing. Never gonna go there again. You owe me a stack of um, sea cucumbers, by the way. Sea pickles, Mr. Green. I'm not going back into your shop. I took one stack two less and I expect a personal delivery. So guys, if you're watching, go to Green's video next time, spam it, you owe dog a stack of pickles and I want them personally delivered. So he better, better do. Otherwise I'm suing him. Man, this is, you can't, you know, barely find time to properly play. So all right, here, here would be, yeah, here's enough space. We make it a tiny and cool shop, maybe use a red mushroom to to build it and then inside we have to a little store yeah that's good so if you want to have a store we need to mass produce stuff right hello <laughs> we need to mass mass produce stuff that is um, and I looked into several automated tree farm designs um, for example for red, mu red mushrooms and so on so we could kind of tree farm automated tree farm like get um, a lot of um, yeah, mushroom blocks and lo and behold at the moment none of the designs um, also one by El Mango and so on actually really works and there was never a really nice fully automated uh, brown mushroom tree farm so it's definitely a challenge we need to tackle I definitely I already talked with methods and so on and um, yeah we might in taste uh, El Mango to look into the issue again as well and maybe we see a really efficient brown mushroom farm for now nothing really really exists and we have we would uh, we have to develop something so that means for now we can do the shop we can stock up on in the shop you know and um, pretty much start selling but for a long time sustainability uh, uh, sustainability we need to develop something that is obvious Impulse's eye trade also got a nice upgrade. We, uh, he's working on the second floor at the moment, it looks like. And yeah, we also have locker boxes up here now where we can store um, our stuff. I just bought a Silk Touch book, um, you know, and now we need to get mending. But that's really cool. Everybody has their strong boxes or little lockers. And yeah, um, we need to invest diamonds. This is our last few diamonds, man. Wait, I'd rather buy potatoes. They are more pleasant to trade. Um, yeah, I need to make a few emeralds. And then, yeah, mending is not expensive here in the shop. So we can get that. Um, and he's already locked, really. Ah, I need potatoes too. Man, this shop is sucking the diamonds out of me, man. <laughs> oh... It is crazy, yeah. All right, that's a good, good mushroom chopper. Defi definitely, mushroom 
Chopper. Mas mushroom Gebe. Yep, that's a good one. The mushroom chopper. Nice. So we now need to go fix it. So I guess we pay a quick visit to the guardian farm that is still at the moment I think the best XP farm we have. And while we're here we can look at something I wanted to see. Yeah, here in the modern district they've been working on these light light post designs, have them all over. So Richard, I think was Cub involved or, or Python um, in this? But I like them a lot, they look good. But they use a lot of quartz here, which I dislike because we need a lot for our tunnel and if they use it all over the place it makes it harder to get it. What I also like that the end rods now have a more neutral texture so you can use them way more and way better. So I like that. Good stuff. Other than that I don't see anything majorly new around here. At some point we also want to come back and do our statue properly again. But as of now man, like the priorities shift quickly but the biggest priority now is to make more money again. We are about to go broke. And yeah. Let's get to it. Well, mushroom farming is full of troubles and perils. I did some testing now and I want to demonstrate something to you. It is quite interesting. So, yeah, those mushroom blocks look good, man. People want them for building. Look at them. Yeah, we need to sell them. So typically, you know, when you do tree farms and such, you would maybe use a setup like that of some sort, you know, have a redstone source point into the block you want to place, right? And then you have something hooked up to it. I don't know. Let's grab a piston here real quick to demonstrate that to you so we can actually see something happening, right? So I don't know. Then the redstone signal would be used to trigger crushers, minecarts, whatever you use for a minecart uh, for a setup like that. Well, interestingly, um, if we do this now and grow the mushroom, you can see it's not updating. Signal not going through. I did some tests and I think this is a bug we encountered here because if I take a mushroom block, right, and place it there by hand, it will register. So yeah, as long as this bug is not fixed, uh, there's no need to really look into fully automated designs, which is questionable anyways with mushrooms. Uh, we will see if there's an official, yeah, efficient solution. Probably, uh, probably gonna um, yeah, talk to El Mango and methods and see what, what can be done. But yeah, it is, it is tricky. It is tricky with bugs like that. But yeah, hopefully tonight Rock will hang out in Discord again, and then I will talk to him, one of the Mojang developers, report the bug to him directly, and then maybe that gets addressed. I don't know if a bug uh, for this uh, bug tracker report exists. So another thing is with mycelium. With mycelium, there is a chance um, that mycelium dies when blocks are on there. I feel it happened quite a lot to me, so we want to use Podsol, um, you know, for our mushroom endeavors. And I was thinking one, two, three, boom. And then, yeah, we need to extend this platform. But if our, and then one, two, three, yeah. If our Podsol block would be here, right, and then we plant there. And now let's say we grow. Yeah, the thing is, if we restrict the growth of the mushrooms obviously we need a ton more bone meal but even the brown mushrooms can grow so tall um, that it becomes really obnoxious to harvest them this size is just in reach for me you know and i can go around quickly and harvest them i had an idea for a minecart based system that would elevate us but as long as this bug is not fixed i'm not gonna bother because it would make things just unnecessarily complicated so, you know, we would harvest that and um, obviously have some water streams helping us out with the harvesting. That is kind of the base idea. So first thing, I definitely need to make this place bigger. Um, I went to Rendox shop and spent even more of our gold and bought an assembly of all sorts of, or of our diamonds. Wood, so we can use that for building here because, yeah, the lore kind of is, right, we are above the... Um, here let's dive down real quick um, sunken ship right and it's right on the edge here to our to our area we stay away a bit so we don't have the 
the constant screeching of the phantoms. And that's also what we said in the beginning of the season that we kind of, um, yeah, want to build this water world like base. And the lore is now we kind of arrived here, right? And then we started to build. This is with the wood we had with us. And there's not much um, for the rest. We need to see what we use for building. Stone maybe and so on, you know. And then we also need to consider physics a little bit. So right now we have an anchor point here, in a sense, to the boat. But if you build more heavy structures, they wouldn't float, right? We could build a raft here. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll look into that. We'll 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 definitely uh, you know get into a lot of details with how we set up here and kind of wanna make a mix of things that are actually practi practical and more of a role playing aspect, you know, considering some things. And um, if you have some ideas about that, what could be the lore? You know, we are here living in salt water. Do we need a salt cleaning machine first before we can we can get um, fresh water here and stuff like that. You know, that would be interesting to give us uh, some ideas to make some quirky machines which are not necessarily, you know, something you would build in a typical survival world, but would fit in here with our little storyline we have going on. We would really enjoy that. Also, I really am looking for a dolphin all of the time. I want to catch me one. Last time I got a bit intrigued by the <laughs> by the infinite dolphin's grace trick I showed you in the last episode. So, I kind of really would like to um, <laughs> catch me a dolphin. That would be neat. Not so far, none was around. So now, you know, how are we going to tie that in into the storyline? If he catches a dolphin now and we're this nature preserve, maybe it's, uh, you know, we found a dolphin, it was hurt, we kind of took it out under wings and now he's our friend and the leash we use to hook up to it is, you know, some sort of, we trained him and he enjoys it a lot. <laughs> maybe we can get away with it, but it's almost not, not you know, too nice to not use it, right? <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's a lot of fun things we can do. I'm enjoying myself and I'm glad you guys do too. The support um, for the show is still pretty good. Of course, there was a little bit of a drop off in views because some of you guys also went back to school and all of that. But in general, yeah, likes are good, but can always be more. Throw up a few likes now, right now, if you haven't. <laughs> all right, so this is what we got so far. This platform here, we would plant, right? And then we are in the mushroom and just go about, quickly harvest them. It's really fast. I mean, you know what I mean. Boom, done. So now most of the mushrooms we would g uh, grab ourselves, right? And yeah. Some would be washed down here in the middle and for now lands here. And we will make a little collection setup down here too. And already I'm forcing myself not to build too symmetrical already, you know. We, uh, we always need to keep in mind this is some makeshift stuff we do. So this is what we got going on here, you know, just <coughs> the top half slabs and we got a little bit of a gap with the water streams coming into the middle. And so down here, you know, we will not have a full platform. We will kind of jankily hang that in here. When I build, it takes a long time to develop the thoughts and the ideas, but eventually I have a kind of a picture and then, yeah, I'll make progress. <coughs> so for now, you know, just use these trapdoors, which have an interesting mechanic now. It's like you can really nicely use them to regulate water, right, like that. It's really, really neat. So yeah, we have the water sitting up in there, you know, so we just create a decent flow, right? This is also interesting here. It's like the water is on the edge there, right? And it gets cut off right there. Doesn't flow down. Although technically it's flowing on a full block here, it could flow down. So yeah, quite interesting. So I think this is decent for us, uh, for red and brown mushrooms. We're just gonna limit the growth of them a little bit. And bones, um, that is easy for us to get. You know, worst case scenario is we have to spend a long time AFKing on a skeleton grinder somewhere. Just get it for free. But we can also buy it at Zizumas and we can get, get, get large quantities relatively cheap. So I think from an investment standpoint, if we start selling mushrooms, it would be good. So I had this idea just now. And I don't know if I can realize it, but what if, maybe it looks total crap, but what if out here 
we kind of form an artificial reef a little bit and then a little bit of a tiny mycelium island right that was um, out here and a pretty big mushroom um, is sitting here and inside this mushroom we actually have our mushroom farm there because we discovered there is a super super hyper fertile spot there for growing mushrooms you know that would fit in with the lore so we built we have this structure now and now we kind of use the mushroom blocks we harvest here to build a giant red mushroom around it a little bit i want to try this and i think we should start with the head pretty much and um, encase this thing a bit and maybe break it out at parts you know what i mean i i have a design idea so let me work on that for quite some time now That'll take me some time and hopefully I have a nice progress report when we're back. Well, it seems <laughs> the setup here is also a good phantom catcher. Get wrecked. Just had a phantom invasion overnight. Alright, so let's quickly swim up here. Did this thing drop something? No? Well, um, yeah, this is what we got um, as of now. I'm trying to work out the, the mushroom shape. And yeah, it's in the beginning stages yet, but we're getting there, we're getting there. So let's check it out from afar a bit. And this is the scale of the mushroom and you know, there's a bits and pieces gonna be broken off of it. So it's gonna be an ancient mushroom, like the ones in the sequoia forests, you know, um, the trees there. They're kind of the same. And yeah, you know, we have, oh, I don't know. They even have names there in the parks for all these trees and you know some have been struck by lightning and are severely damaged and so on but they're ancient and they're still alive. So um, yeah I need to shape out the corners. Of course this shape we have going on right now is not most likely not the final shape. Um, I need to experiment with it a bit. We also got a bunch of dolphins by now again so that is all good. Okay, yeah, I'm just trying to try to fix the edges here. Okay, because I, I broke out one row of blocks and if you remove the sides of these blocks they will turn into, you know, brown. So you can't change it after the fact, you gotta make up your mind beforehand. Come on. Alright, that worked. So it looks a bit more natural. I don't know, I, I thought... Would it be better if we build it from red and white clay, you know, and then just scale up the dots? But I don't think it's really a thing with these mushrooms. They typically grow with the small dots, right? But yeah, I just want to show you the shape, how it could look better potentially. Like that, you know, and then let's go up and see. Getting out of the water with the... Depth Strider 3 is also sometimes a bit iffy, it's quite wonky sometimes, because you're moving so fast, you know. So, Alright, let's go up. See, I just want to see if that improves it already a bit, or if you have to do a, a lot more shaping with the thing. Okay. Good. Yeah, that already helps quite a lot. We might give it a bit more structure. And yeah, below you can see the stem right there. And inside the stem, of course, will be our collection collection area, right? Yeah, I got the hoppers ready. And yeah, we will have a water stream in the corner here. Or better say in this corner, flushing to over there and then glass blocks. And we only need one single hopper up in there. But yeah, I needed to craft some more. Did I bring some iron over? A little bit, uh, but that would, would, wouldn't be enough. All right, so we got this situation right now. We got a mushroom growing here, and in the stem we will integrate the collection and all. Let's go inside real quick. So this is what I got going on here. I just was about to fix some stuff on the outsides here. I kind of have the base structure now, and now, you know, I want to age the thing. So we would assume this mushroom, you know, is one of the ancient ones. Those, um, you know, you can, if you ever been to the Pacific West Coast in America, or to any, you know, sequoia tree forest for that matter, 
you would see that there is plenty of really really old trees there like they're hundreds of years old some even over a thousand and so on and over the years all kinds of stuff happens there's a storm you know branch breaks off fire breaks out burns a hole into the whole thing and uh, still these ancient trees you could call them are quite resistant they are alive still sometimes even their their stem is uh, burned out completely at the base and so on so i imagine this to be one of the ancient mushrooms here that uh, also kind of dates back a bit to the ancient times where the titans were fighting and the thing is sitting here you know it is broken up hollowed out a bit you know i need to yeah, get into the shape of it way more and uh, break it off but it's still kind of alive there and yeah we found this fertile place inside for us to plant our mushrooms and yeah i will have a water column to swim up as it is a only a short swim you know that's enough and here this broke out and is kind of the entrance so now i wanted to take a big chunk there on the top and see how that looks because also otherwise the whole thing would look too blocky and then maybe later on we'll add some bracers and stuff how we kind of you know we we try to save save the mushroom and kind of yeah poke it together a bit keep it together so like this you know a significant piece would have been broken out and then maybe we came in and tried to patch it up a bit um, by having some braces here that kind of hold the mushroom together in a way Yeah, maybe like that, you know, and this would go down on the sides or so. <gasps> Whoa! Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. We don't want them now. No, no, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, whoa. He's in here. Ooh. Okay, this is uh, supposedly also a very good phantom catcher, as it seems. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sleeping, Chloe. Eh, uh, Cleo, 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 Cleo. Oh, we just... Oh, <laughs> wow, we got just speared him. Alright. So, you know, let's have a look now. That, oh, man, these... The freaking phantoms spawning in, like, out of nowhere. That freaked me out. They still freak you out. Especially as we have hostile mob sounds so loud. You know? bits and pieces broken off up there and then I think we'll add some cobblestone there as some so it looks as uh, as there were some bracers let's see we should have some cobblestone walls right here okay and we should also dump a bucket of water on top so we can easily get up and down to be honest all right so um, yeah bracer we said so that would be something like that right that tries to hold that together it can easily be a different wood it can be aged it can be partially wet you know everything works out like that and then maybe I don't know we can also use some buttons to as kind of nails that would be around okay so we randomly need to break it again after we build it but that's how you do it you know first kind of build the basic shape and then yeah you try to fix it a bit yeah all right obviously as it is the ancient here it's overgrown and mossy so yeah i went in with some some vines and stuff and from all sides i feel this thing is looking cool now you know we have nicely broken up the yeah his head pretty much and then we have these bracers randomly in there and then you know some overgrowth is happening partially below here and yeah it will overgrow more also i planted a bunch of mycelium which is spreading and we started to kind of shape out the island here and uh, we kind of need to tie that into the ship here kind of you know make it grow out of it a little bit so we imagine i don't know you know the mast of the ship that was there caused some debris to get stuck in over time um it compacted into this land mass and then Oh, there was a little bit of space and then some mice, some spores landed here and it spread and eventually it pollinated the island over there right but i think it looks really cool man i'm surprised yep 
I'm definitely stepped up the building game this season, that's for sure. Looks really good. Pretty happy. We have the functionality in there. The openness and so on. Just with this decent. I like it. Here we have a chest now where I will have the basic stuff. And everything looks a bit makeshift, you know what I mean? It doesn't look perfect and that's actually nice. That's what we want to achieve out here. We don't want things to be perfect. So for red mushrooms we also need an X um, for you know just chopping down mushroom blocks regularly without silk touch so we can restock on, on red mushrooms. Because doing it you know, if you do it, if you silk touch it, of course, that's not not cutting it. I died also in the meantime. I I was boosting around with the rocket and kinetic energy. I cheat myself into the mushroom here and died. <laughs> uh, after I had survived countless falls and jumping up and down on the thing, yeah. So best, of course, if you would have, let's say, um, a pickaxe with fortune on there, right? So we get a lot of mushrooms back, so we, I don't know, plant two, three of these and we are stocked back up when it comes to mushrooms. And then we can work from there. Let's see how many did we get. Eight without any fortune. And then there's one down here. And six there. Yeah, I have a glass ceiling in there with water streams pointing into the corner hopper set up there. And we pick up everything. So that is nice. Okay, and now... Do we have bone mill still? Yeah. We got some mushroom specs. We got 15 from that one. So with fortune, you know, we should be good. Easily can grow them and then we go ahead and harvest. So now we need to think about pricing. This, this thing we can use now. So next episode, um, we should start the shop. At least, you know, parts of it. Or at least get it going, man. We need money. As I said, we're completely broke here. So... Yeah, we need we need pricing. So the stems obviously are more rare, right? So therefore we need to charge more for them. So a stack of stems, what do you think would be a decent price range for that? Stems and I mean these blocks, they can be cheap. I would say for those I would literally say yeah, one diamond per stack for for all the for all these red blocks. Maybe for the brown ones, we make it a bit more expensive. And then maybe three diamonds for a stack of mushroom stem blocks. What do you think? Is that in a decent price range? Or what do you think? Do you, or are we overpricing with that? I'm not quite sure. But, you know, getting the mushroom stems takes a lot of time. You can get maybe four or five, you know, of them. So, yeah, we should make it pricey. Where's my fish? Did I use up all my fish already again? Sure looks like it. Wow. Okay. So yeah, here's the harvest. I mean, you know, those blocks we get a lot. They are easy to get for us. But yeah, stems, rare. Relatively rare. Do we have any? I think I dropped some over, over at the main island. We also have no rockets on us at the moment. Man. Things are dire. <laughs> Can't afford anything. We have a few rockets left. Okay, that's looking good. So what I will do now, I will wait a little bit and I spread the mycelium and then, you know, we spruce up the place here a little bit more. And maybe go down here and start modeling a bit of the lower part of the island. And then, yeah, we should be, should be all right. So in 1.13.1, if you are in a warm ocean, which we are, this is not lukewarm, warm. If we bone meal the floor, supposedly we can get parts of corals. Yeah, yeah. Yep, there we go. Nice. Oof. Man, I should set up a conduit here while we work underwater on the island. Okay, so yeah, we can replenish corals now, or the coral fans easily. I'm still hoping they would my maybe... Um, Implement a crafting recipe, you know, for coral blocks from from these guys here. And yeah, I wanna I wanna quickly try something. Can we actually attach them upside down? I just wanna see if some of it could maybe grow here. No, that doesn't work. Oh wait, that was the wrong piece as well. That is a tube coral. We need a fan. What is that? Fire coral. 
Okay, a fan. It can go on the sides, okay, but now not below. Okay. So below we need to do some something else to spruce it up a bit. But we're good. So in those corals, I mean we could have decorative dead corals around. Now as we can replenish them and we don't rip them out of the reef. That's actually a thing. So if that would sit here, it is next to water, but not waterlocked water, and it would die. I'd, I'd like to have some, some nice corals here. Yeah, but sweet, we can replenish them now. Okay, yeah, I'm liking that. That looks totally cool. Nice, it turned out great. Ha! Huh. Good stuff. So, I did some of the underbelly of the thing a bit, you know, like we said, some coral, that coral in there and kind of accumulated here and then a little island formed, like it really happens. We have some light pots here around the, the mushroom. Oh yeah, I wanted to get one more thing real quick. And then we can look at the thing at daylight. Let me quickly see. My loyalty on the trident was just broken. Okay, now it came back. Yeah, it, it didn't work. I had to re-log to fix it. That was really strange. Okay, I want to get a few more cobble fences and then I think we can call this build done. Alright, let's see. Here, let's grab that. And then we can also have a look. Look at it from over here. Yeah, it looks cool, man. Absolutely, I like it. Good stuff. It turned out really well. Let's fly, fly around it for a sec. Yeah, it's neat. Cool. Okay, let's land in here. And yeah, I wanted to get these cobble things on the on the light pods. You will always have people that fall into holes. So this we maybe put right in there and this we put on top a bit. Okay, because here mobs can spawn, you know, so we gotta be careful with that a bit. Here, that is fine. Okay, maybe have one in there, just to randomize it a bit more. Okay, and if you wanna tie up a boat, uh, or as a dolphin, better say, <laughs> does, do leads work on, on such fence posts? I don't even know. Probably not, we need a wooden fence post if you want to tie up things here. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty content with that setup. Now we can start farming mushrooms and I will do that until next episode. Try to build up a stock and then we move it over to the shopping district and quickly try to build up a nice new shop there. But yeah, overall that turned out really nice. I'm happy with the build. Makes sense as well, lore-wise lore here for our whole storyline, right? really neat the ancient mushroom is done thanks for watching my friends i hope you enjoyed the episode oh, can we can we not get a brief look yeah here brief look on the mushroom i see you in the next episode please leave feedback about the things we talked about in today's episode i'm out bye guys